perspective have led English for science and technological practitioners or researchers to use ethnographic method in investigating the target discourse community. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hello everyone, let me introduce myself I am Reza Pustika MPG, the lecturer of English for Specific Purposes subject English for Specific Purposes has become an interesting topic for over decades in English education field As English functions as communication, international language People all over the world find it essential to learn English. Moreover, learning English to support their study or career. Here, English for Specific Purposes takes place. English for Specific Purposes, or ESP, is known as a learner-centered approach to teaching English as a foreign or second language. It meets the needs of mostly adult learners who need to learn a foreign language for use in their vocational field, such as science, technology, medicine, laser, and academic learning. This course is recommended for students or teachers candidate professionals who wish to learn how to design ESP courses and programs in an area of specialization, such as English for business, for civil engineering, for academic purposes, and for health service purposes. In addition, they are introduced to ESP instructional strategies, materials adaptation and development, and evaluation. In this learning video, the topic we are going to discuss is English for Science and Technology. Before we go further to the discussion, I want to inform you that the materials in this video are taken from Partridge P and Starfield S 2013, the title is The Handbook of English for Specific Purposes, Volume 592. English for Science and Technology The wide range of purposes and contexts in which English is used has made English for Specific Purposes, or ESP, an elective discipline, typically trained as writing or language teachers. ESP teachers work outside of their own disciplines and must become ethnographers, exploring unfamiliar language varieties, disciplinary cultures and modes, and drawing on scholarship from a wide range of fields to do so. This includes sociocultural studies, literacy studies, second language writing studies, rhetoric and systemic functional linguistics. Perhaps because of the rapid expansion of English for science and technology in the last 50 years, science and technology were an early focus for ESP researchers. For example, Barber 1988, Bazerman 1984, 1988, and Brain 1989, Holiday 1993, Herbert 1965, Swalls 1971 and 1988. The initial interest of English for Science and Technology or EST teachers and researchers was on linguistic forms with the latter emphasis on skills. A more recent focus has been on disciplinary socialization and most recently a critical perspective which considers how literacy practices express societal and disciplinary power differences. Halliday, 1993, comments that a text is recognized as scientific English because of the combined effect of clusters of features and importantly the relations of these features throughout the text. Yet, Characteristic forms and vocabulary of science and technology should not be considered as separate form, the genre in which they occur, because linguistic differences are part of what constitutes genre. 
Similarly, the genre of science and technology partially constitute the various disciplines and cannot be separated from them. Being a member of a discourse community involves using its characteristic language and genres, and also sharing its values, which are reflected in its language and genres, and taking on a role recognized by other members of the discourse community. Paltrich, 2012. This expanded perspective of ESP has replaced a notion of skills transferable between disciplines with the conception of specific literacies acquired in the context of the discipline. This creates a difficulty for English for science and technology teachers who must provide access for their students into a discourse community of which they are usually not members. To become a member of science discourse community, a student needs to participate in and come to regard as natural research science values, that science is qualitative, repeatable, and ideally free from bias. Engineering values by contrast are concerned with the design process and problem solving within said specialization. Associated discourse includes argument that links scientific phenomena to specific contexts. Archer, 2008. A disciplinary socialization perspective views students as not merely learning the registers and genres important in their disciplines, but as being encultured into those disciplines by learning disciplinary values and behavior. This perspective draws on sociocultural theory, viewing discourse practices as learned through interaction with those who have already mastered them. Duff 2010, Lamke 1990. A language socialization perspective may, however, represent the process of acquiring new literacy practices too simply. Lea and Street, 1998, argue that acquiring disciplinary literacy requires a student to take on a new disciplinary identity, one with which they may not be comfortable and which they may therefore resist. This perspective has led English for Science and Technological Practitioners or Researchers to use ethnographic method in investigating the target discourse community. A controversial issue in writing pedagogy has been whether genre should be explicitly taught. In the area of rhetorical genre studies, some writing specialists have avoided explicit instruction because of the dynamic nature of genre and incidental student learning of genre features through immersion in the disciplinary culture, while others have focused explicit teaching on context and situation rather than form. Giltrow and Stein, 2009. ESP writing instruction has, however, favored explicit instruction on form, viewing it as of particular value to non native speakers who may find access to disciplinary cultures less easy than do native speakers. The grammatical and lexical features of language we use for specific purposes are by definition specialized and not a routine part of a native speaker's repertoire. Tudor, 1997. Indeed, couple studies have shown how specialized the lexical grammar and discourse strategies of disciplinary genre are. Paltrich, 2009. Thus, ESP has tended to emphasize communication in the specialized target context rather than language teaching. Highland, 2007. Attention to language has been embedded in the teaching of key genres and language varieties learners will need to use in their disciplines. Halliday's 1993 Influential Analysis of the Distinctive Organization of Written Scientific Tests, 
Attention to language has been embedded in the teaching of key genres and language varieties learners will need to use in their disciplines. Halliday's 1993 influential analysis of the distinctive organization of written scientific texts has shown how meaning in science tends to be expressed nominally rather than closely, with meaning buried within the clause rather than explicitly signal between clauses by use of conjunctions. Clausal packaging of meaning and nominal packaging of meaning. Vocabulary as well as grammar differs from discipline to discipline. Cortes 2004 suggests that students might avoid the lexical bundles of fear of using them wrongly. A pedagogical implication of research in this area is to assist students in noticing the frequent use of the expressions. Language in science and technology is generally viewed as very impersonal. Students are encouraged by discipline specialists and ESP textbook and teachers to avoid personal language in order to appear objective. It is important for students to be sensitive to their own disciplinary norms as norms vary between disciplines, as Highland found. Like all writers, students need to be sensitive to their audience, their professors who expect a high level of impersonality. Graphs and diagrams are an important part of science and technology discourse. Myers 2003 notes that diagrams are not an easily accessible language, but rather conventional depictions, which require disciplinary knowledge to understand. Thus, science and engineering students must learn to read images of molecules, flow charts, graphs, micrographs, and so on. The social practices of engineering and science disciplines depend heavily on these visual forms, particularly graph. Good controls of a genre involves an understanding of how different modes visual, written, and oral interact. Different modes offer different constraints and possibilities for making meaning. Archer, 2006, used the poster as a tool to form links between the visual and the written, and between engineering culture new to her rural student and the culture students bring with them to university. Mathematical discourse is a particular example of multimodal language. O'Halloran 2000 calls mathematics discourse multi-semiotic in that it relies on language math symbolism and visual elements. Okay, students, for your own reflections and to check your understanding, please kindly check your spada. There, you can find posters to check your understanding about this topic. Well, that covers what I want to share with you in this learning video. For your own ESP courses, I recommend you to read more on the works of expert. In this learning video, you will surely get inspiration from them. If you want to have further discussion on this topic, do not hesitate to contact me. Thank you so much to watch the video until it ends. Don't forget to like the videos in Kuliah Technocrat channel and subscribe it. It will surely help your college study. I am Reza Bustika signing out. Thank you. Goodbye. Terima kasih sudah menyaksikan video pembelajaran ini. Jangan lupa like, comment dan subscribe serta nyalakan tanda loncengnya agar kalian tidak ketinggalan informasi update lainnya. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Pertumbuhan penderita COVID-19 di 2021 ini semakin meningkat Tentunya ini tidak hanya berdampak terhadap kesehatan kita Tapi juga berdampak terhadap perekonomian Indonesia 
Oleh karena itu, marilah bersama-sama kita memperjuangkan melawan COVID-19 ini. Protokol kesehatan tetap wajib kita laksanakan, walaupun telah divaksinasi. Mari kita melaksanakan 5M. Memakai masker, mencuci tangan, menjaga jarak, mengurangi mobilitas, dan menjauhi kerumunan. Marilah kita kembalikan kejayaan Indonesia ini dengan kesehatan dan pertumbuhan ekonomi yang semakin baik dengan bersama-sama kita melawan virus COVID-19 ini. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.